Okay, here I am on day one of my 10-day juice fast in June of 2020. How quickly time flies when you're juicing and eating right and um, eating well. So I just want to get a few of my um, thoughts about uh, beginning this juice fast. It's so interesting. Uh, yesterday I was eating food, of course. It was the last day. And it was like the last supper, you know. And I had meditated over my friend's house. And I guess while I was meditating, I started having, I was thinking about what I had when I went on this nice picnic lunch yesterday. And I had a bag of chips. And I thought, did I really appreciate that bag of chips? I think they were sour cream. No, no, they were jalapeno. They were ripple jalapeno. I know, I remember what they were. But did I really appreciate them? And then I started thinking about chips. And I started thinking about maybe I should have had that cheddar cheese, the rippled cheddar cheese ones, the thick ones with the little ridges. And I thought, boy, it would be great to have some chips. And, and then I thought, well, you're going to be starting your juice fast tomorrow. Maybe you should just get a bag of chips after meditation. Just do it because you're not going to be able to do it tomorrow or for the next 10 days. And I don't do that as a habit anyway. So in general, I can't do it. So, But today I'm going to let you off the leash. Why don't you just run over there, get yourself a bag of chips, and then really enjoy them. And I did. I came home, and they were so good. Something about that cheddar cheese and potato chip combination with all that salt. Oh, so good. But it was really nice. I was working outside in the yard, and it, it just it was like dinner, really. It was just like, I'm good. And I did have a salad later in the evening. But it was a, it was a wise move in the scheme of things because it was a desire, and I just didn't want to take that desire into my juicing, you know, like, Oh, I can't have any potato chips. It's like, well, you had them. That's it. You got what you wanted. So now, and then the other thing is, I have been eating some really tasty food, you know, and um, I was making a lot of curries and rice. I had nice pre pre made, I think it's called patak Indian uh, sauce that I, simmer sauce that I put with my steamed broccoli or, or green beans with rice and. You know, because I've been busy working, and, and that I just had the ingredients. It's like steam up some veggies, throw some rice in there, put some simmer sauce on there. And, you know, I've been eating that, which was so good. And, uh, you know, it's like kind of like bye-bye eating. It's like, okay, can I do it? Can I, can I detach from this? Can I change the channel? Can I change my mode of being? And the good, I was thinking this morning when I got up, because, you know, I, I got up and, Made some green tea and peppermint tea, which is a great combination because no coffee today either. Because the reality is that when I'm not eating, I don't have anything to cut that acid. So it's easier for me to get off coffee. So I took the opportunity to have no coffee. I did go back to sleep this morning after meditating. I thought, why'd you go to sleep? I thought, well, you didn't have any coffee. So you just, you know, that's what happens when you go off um, those stimulants like that. And green tea isn't isn't the same for me, apparently. But it's so much easier on my system when I get off coffee. So I'm really happy about it. And this time before I I started the fast last night, I started thinking, rather than thinking of this as being deprived of food, what this time my mind was going to is the way I will feel as I go into this in terms of how good I will feel. Because I had some really nice, kind of sublime feelings last juice fast feel the physical feeling also the emotional feeling of lightness and kind of just you know feeling sublime it's the only word for it and, and you know it's not that often that I bring that descriptive um, adjective I guess it is out to use you know and I do when I do juicing so that's good so I was, you know, looking at it as an opportunity and, you know, as what is going to be unfolding for me, you know, how I'm going to change in a better way. And once again, having these good periods of, you know, uh, purification, 
it's just slowly, it's, it kind of ratchets your body to a more refined way of operating. So, um, you know, I was, uh, I got up and I, I had some carrots, I had uh, some watermelon, and some celery, some ginger, and I just very quickly put together a juice. I had a meeting this morning that lasted about 40 minutes, and I knew you're going to have to have some juice before you start this. So um, I did, and it got me through. And then afterwards, before I, I started anything else, I made sure I made some more juice. I had mostly watermelon, some black and blueberries, just a little lemon juice, and I just made up a nice tall glass of that. And I still have some left, I think. Because, you know, I have to have juice. You know, if I'm not eating, you know, you need juice. You know, I, I know that. It's like you can't allow, I cannot allow myself to be juiceless. <laughs> I don't want to juice fast. And the other thing, interesting little anecdote was that um, Gary and I went over for dinner with a wonderful couple and they just gave us the most magnificent dinner. I guess it was last, not last Friday, the Friday before. And and he, he borrowed something and he was going to return it. And he said, when I return it, I'd like to take this couple out to a nice a restaurant. Where, and he there, there was a nice burger joint in this town and, and that the guy had mentioned and Gary said, well, I'll treat everybody to some burgers. And it would be like this week because he wants to return the item this week. And I said, oh, hey, okay. And I said, ah, oh, but I can't because I'm going to be juicing. You know I mean? I, I did what I just, I didn't say I couldn't because the reality is I could go and have tea or something. But, um, I don't really like to go to a real serious eating situation where people are focused on food when I'm juicing. To me, it's not polite because I do want to eat when I'm in that situation and people know it, you know, and I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable about the fact that they're eating and I'm not. I don't think that's polite, actually. So um, I just mentioned I'll be juicing. I didn't say I couldn't go. I just said I'll be juicing. And then he said, well, I'll, I'll make it. I'll figure it out. So that was that. The other thing was um, when we were down in this little town on Sunday, the minister of, or the pastor of this uh, church, which he's really quite good, he and his wife also run a restaurant, and it's open on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. And I said to Gary, and this is something I've thought about before, we should really go to that restaurant, you know, plan to go down there, because it's a little out of our way. It would have to be a pre-planned trip and, you know, go for lunch one day. I think it's only open for lunch. And, um, you know, I said, yeah, that'd be a great idea. But after I mentioned it, you know, I really wasn't thinking about my eating schedule. I realized, well, we're going to have to schedule that like for 10 days in the future, you know, 11 days in the future. And um, that is one of the major uh, ways that I would fail from a juice fast. It's like, the ability to say to myself and others, I cannot participate until this date. You know, if you're going to be doing this, I won't be able to join in in that way until after this date. And to really look at my calendar and not schedule uh, focused eating events until after that. And Gary's really good about it, like because he um, he supports me in my desire to, you know, improve myself and uh, keep my weight down. He knows I've struggled with it, and, you know, it's, it's good. So uh, that's it. I, um, I have some things to do uh, sometime early this afternoon. In fact, maybe even after I get off this, I'm going to go over to Walmart and load up on vegetables. I probably should clear out the refrigerator before I go over there because I have a lot of food that needs to be frozen, you know, some stuff I don't really want to lose that could be frozen. And, um, you know, clean out some extraneous stuff that has gotten somehow into my refrigerator in the past 20 days of eating. And um, and then do an assessment and then, you know, go over and get stuff, you know, especially my t stuff for my tomato juice, which is sort of like my dinner meal, you know, which I'll probably have a little early tonight. But that gives me like a, since I spice it up so nicely, it gives me kind of a substantial, my hearty juice. So that's it. Here I am, day one. I hope to just do a, a, some type of check-in every day. It helps to keep me on 
the program.